Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emerald and I document my lock journey here on my channel. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. I'm going to show you guys how I removed the previous color that I had in my locks before. I use purple shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo, baking soda, and apple cider vinegar. Also a deep conditioner. I deep conditioned my hair three times during this process and you want to mix everything up together in your bowl. I was trying to go for a cake batter consistency but due to the baking soda it just wasn't happening. So this is how my hair looked before and I had used Violet Gem previously and I was just showing you guys the consistency that I had got. Um, so you just want to add the um, mixture onto your hair and you want to rub it in you guys and like mush it in. You guys will see um, throughout the video and then I was just adding my lock tonic onto my hair because I felt like it needed a little bit more, you know, moisture. So that's what I'm doing here and then I go back in repeating the process. And you guys can see the motions that I'm doing. You still want to be very gentle with your locks, especially if you're in the star lock phase or the mature phase, just so you won't add a lot of extra tension onto your locks, you guys. And you guys can see that I am holding my locks in the process. Doing this process is a safer alternative to removing color from your hair. I mainly use semi-permanents from Adore. And when I touch up my color, I use bleach or I use a box dye that's the lightest bond I could get to get my blonde you guys and a lot of people from what I research here on YouTube use Dawn soap or the um, dandruff shampoo from head and shoulders or they added bleach or developer into their mixture but I didn't do that because I will be touching up my roots in this process as well so I didn't do that but the um mixture i use is still work at removing the color and you guys will see soon in the next clip so here's my locks freely saturated in the mixture and i'm just showing you guys that even after the first application a lot of the purple has come out and this is my hair after i rinsed everything out well tried and attempted to and then i just put a little bit of deep conditioner in my hair and then i left my house and i'm just showing you guys how the color looked in lightning and then after that you guys i had went back home and then i added more deep conditioner into my hair i had a long day this day this took me all day and i had stuff to do myself and with my mom so i was outside like this but i had deep conditioner in my hair and then i went back and rinsed everything out and this is how my locks look after the first treatment you guys and you guys could see my hair still had purple in it but most of it was gone and then i just went back in and did it for a second time with the baking soda This is how my locks look after the second application you guys and then i went ahead and added deep conditioner all over and on top of that um, baking soda mixture and this is how my hair was looking you guys when doing this process with your locks or natural hair you guys you want to make sure that you are taking care of your hair before and after and just making sure your hair is in a state to be coloring or stripping color out of your hair i know in the lock community we get a lot of hate for having colored locks but the truth of that matter is that those people who hate color and locks didn't take care of their locks they didn't wash it out or their hair wasn't healthy to begin with. And I will have a video coming up on that as well, you guys. And this is how my hair looked after uh, rinsing everything out. And then I went to bleach my hair. And I have a video of me already bleaching my hair. I will link that in the card so you guys can watch that as well as the description. But this is my hair, you guys. And I use a 20 volume developer this time. And in that bleaching video, you guys will see me um will tell you that i alternate between 20 and 40 volume depending on what look i'm going for and i was doing my hair ginger so i didn't want my hair to be ice blonde like how i usually be so i just did a 20 this time and this is how my hair looked after rinsing everything out and these are the colors that i'll be using french cognac and cotton candy by adore and you want to just push the color into your hair, like smush it in. And I like my hair to be damp, almost dry when doing 
uh, these semi colors you guys because the more moisture you have in your hair the less color payoff you're going to have and these colors only last about four to six weeks so it's going to rinse out if you sweat or depending on how often you wash your hair and i wash my hair probably every two weeks now if i don't wash it i do rinse it or co-wash it so yeah like the purple that i had before it was already faded because we had a heat wave in california so i did a lot of sweating and then i was you know rinsing and washing my hair you guys and uh another tip is you guys could put the clear color um of a door on top of your color to make it last a little bit longer but it's still going to wash out and i didn't do it this time because i am going to be um changing my color again in october for halloween i will be trying out a new coloring process during that time so leave in the comments what process you think i'll be taking because it is different ways you can color your hair you guys so i'll be doing that and i'm just adding you know the ginger like well the french cognac like on the edges of this part of my hair you guys so i was trying to do like a little triple ombre effect i don't know i was just trying stuff because i try stuff with my hair i don't care and so then i'm going in with the cotton candy pink you guys and this is how the color looks and then i just you know smush that into my hair as well if you guys aren't following me on instagram make sure you guys follow me at golden medusa locks where i pretty much update you guys every day on my lock journey um on here you know it takes me some time and i will be updating you guys on the first three months of my lock journey as well you guys and this is how my hair is looking after i rinse everything out and i'm loving my color so far i got so many compliments you guys for men and women like i love this color and i did trim my locks a little bit after this after my style was done and everything and i did get a retwist i'll get another retwist in october i get my retwist every four to six weeks you guys so yeah this is how my hair is looking and you guys know doing anything to your hair that's altering its natural state will cause some type of damage so please in the comments don't be saying why are you bleaching your locks or blah 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 because i will block you this is my hair worry about yourself okay and those that are listening i will be bleaching my hair again in january which is my birthday month and that's when i'll touch up my roots i've been going for every three to six months um touching up my color now that i have locks you guys and this is how my hair looked in the sunlight you guys could still see the blonde and everything because i didn't want to do my entire head um with the ginger effect that was just gonna take too long and i get lazy doing my hair but this is how everything is looking you guys and you guys will see how my hair looked retwisted i am so obsessed with my colors and i can't wait to show you guys more of my coloring process and my lock journey so be sure to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram at golden medusa locks leave me a pink heart emoji if you made it this far in this video thank you guys for watching see you in my next one skinny little bitty body.